Um, the term colored is simply a form of identification, but for others, it's a matter of national importance. Uh, the non-profit organization, People Against Race Co Classification, let me say that again, People Against Race Classification has brought a petition to Parliament to scrap the term colored from South Africa's legislation. Finding out for us why is ENCA's Monique Mortlock. What's in a name, or more importantly, in an identity? We took to social media and the streets to hear whether people identify as coloured and what this means to them. I do identify as coloured, that's how I was born, that's my right. I don't think it's uh, anything, uh, a criminal um, description to, to, you know, to describe me as a coloured person. It's nothing also to do with my culture, it's just basically skin colour. I think that to be coloured means not necessarily the colour of my skin, but the language we speak. I actually don't feel like they should put that, your race description, on anything. NPO, People Against the Race Classification, says the term colored is derogatory, racist, and conceals the true historical identity of the Khoi and Sun people. The group has brought a petition before Parliament calling for the scrapping of the term from official use. There seems to be no right or wrong in the debate over the term colored as a racial descriptor, dividing society and experts alike. One historian argues that South Africa's labor policies may be the reason why people wish to distance themselves from the term. I am writing my autobiography now. It is called The, the Pre-Life and Times of a Capital C Colored. So right there you can see that I... I'm not uh, ashamed of my coloredness and maybe the people who are ashamed of this is or who think of the races are the people who uh, 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 want to move up easily and so they don't want that term to, to be used. Another expert says racial categories will never be scrapped until systemic racism is dismantled. Until we actually fix, um, you know, the damage that continues to be done in townships on the Cape Flats and in other parts of the world, those racial categories, you know, will, will persist in the minds of people. But it's also a useful way for bureaucrats to identify you know, disadvantaged individuals and, and, and to ensure that, that some form of redress is, is implemented. And what we are saying is... Meanwhile, Labour and Employment Minister Tulas Ngresi, in response to the petition, has argued that racial classifications in the Employment Equity Act are not unconstitutional and are critical to achieving substantive equality to redress the imbalances of the past. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.